Hey friends, okay, so this is my prayer room. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour of my prayer room. Um, I'm gonna go through each thing and like why I have this all set up the way that I have it set up. Up above here are all the statues of Mary that I have collected. And so at the end of the video, I'm gonna go through each one because people have asked me if I would go through them. Okay, so I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tour of my prayer room. So this whole room is our prayer room. We have a couch over there, and I spend a lot of time in this room. A lot more than I thought. I thought I'd be like in the kitchen most of the days, but I'm actually in here reading with the kids and doing my prayers and reading books and that type of thing um, and so this is the wall that faces it it's a pretty small room like considering um, I also have my office over there so I'll kind of do a little tour of you know everything as well but this is the main focus that I wanted to share with you guys was my home altar to give you guys kind of an idea if you want to do this in your family. So for me, I knew that I wanted to have like a home altar in the new house, you know, and I didn't know what our house would look like or anything. So we have this, these built-ins came with the house. So that was something where I was like a little overwhelmed to be honest, because I didn't know what to do with all the shelves. And you know, I went to school for interior decorating. So so I love that type of thing but I honestly was a little bit overwhelmed and so um, so I'll kind of give you a little tour of what I ended up doing I have a lot of pictures as you can see like here's the family I have my grandparents uh, my dad so I have a lot of pictures of people that I really want to pray for my dad passed away about two and a half years ago so having a picture an image of him I remember to pray for him this is my grandma and grandpa who have passed away as well so I pray for them so I really do in my prayer corner and things I like to have those reminders of people to pray for I love the different pictures that the Catholic artists have done throughout time so so this is our lady of loving my husband went to vietnam years ago and he brought me back this huge statue and i love it because she always has this like beautiful smile on her face you know so when i'm praying the rosary i can just like just see her smiling down upon me and i love that i have the sacred heart i will show you a better image of all of this um a lot of this i just collected throughout my lifetime um like this um, image of the sacred heart i had since i was a very little girl my mom uh, found it at a garage sale and i fell in love with it it's very like antique looking but I love it. It's like my favorite image ever. And I asked my mom if I could have it when I moved out and she let me have it. So that was very sweet of her. Um, and so I'm just gonna do a little tour because I think it's really sweet to have a prayer area in your house for your family to pray. And you know, kids are very visual as well. So to have like different like visual things for them. So it's funny because I envisioned just a blank wall um, wherever I was gonna move. And I was gonna, my, my vision was to have kind of a navy blue wall. So it seems kind of dark. Um, like but like very dark navy blue and then my goal was to have these golden icons like like these ones throughout them because it really would have popped and god had other plans i got this huge these huge built-in shelves and they're beautiful and great but um so i had to kind of work within that so i'm going to just show you a little tour of this and it's mainly just to give you ideas for your home and your family if you guys have a prayer area that you guys pray as a family every day or night um this might give you some ideas so um and also if you're on instagram please if you have a prayer a prayer room or you know prayer space in your house please tag me a catholic mom's life and i would love to show it on instagram like through the stories and stuff i love seeing what other people do with their prayer areas like i get so motivated and it's like people are just so creative i love it so uh definitely tag me if you do okay so here it is when i back up a little i have a door there and a door there and that goes to the kitchen um, and so all of my statues of Mary are up at, at the top and I'll kind of talk about each one at the very end. Um, and so this is, I love the main focus because I really wanted it to be like church. Like my goal was to have like a Mary image 
on the side. And then I really wanted St. Joseph, but I could not, for the life of me, find a St. Joseph that was kind of long and skinny like that. So, so I just ended up going with a St. Michael, the Archangel. And I am not in love with the frame. I think I'm gonna get a different frame. But I, I love that image. I love St. Michael. And we do a St. Michael prayer every night with the kids. And then this is Our Lady of Levain. This is my dad that passed away. Over here is a lot of our Bibles. Like we have like the different catechisms and um, Bibles and stuff like that. So, um, so that's a lot of our Bibles. And then a family picture. Down here, I love, this is like my favorite part of this whole space. I got, I begged my husband for some icons for Christmas and I think he got these off of Amazon. So I'll link these if you guys are looking for um, some icons, but I absolutely love them. They match each other and they're just beautiful. So then, like I said, we pray a decade of the rosary every day. So I got these off of Amazon as well. And so every night we'll just flip to the next one. And um, so we'll know what decade that we're on. And the kids love it because there's a visual. All the kids, this is a little dish that my grandma gave me. And, um, and it just, all the kids can grab a different rosary every night. They can pick whatever they want. So every night when we do our decade of the rosary, we read from this, the scriptural rosary. It's awesome. It's really, really neat. So that goes just right there. So we know where it is every night. And then this is St. Nicholas. I love St. Nicholas, especially for little children, which I have five. And then this is, we, pr we light the candle every night. Okay, so that's what I what it looks like down here. And then up here, that's the, the Sacred Heart of Jesus image and it fits perfect in that little square. And then I have the cross and Mother Mary. And I got this actually in Lourdes and I got this years and years ago. So it's, I feel like they kind of match and that just happened by coincidence. Um, so this is a, a St. Anthony relic um in the back i have no idea where i got that from but i love saint anthony so much i'm very franciscan in a lot of my thinking and then this is saint lucy i don't know where i got her either but um this is her relic as well so i love that as well um so i have my two little relics up there and then over here, I have my grandma, my grandpa, and then the kids. I want to get one with all of the kids once I have the baby. And then I got this for my birthday one year from my mama. And then um, just some more plants and me and Thomas. <laughs> Love that picture. And then up here are a bunch of my spiritual reading books. So I, I really do like um, having all these different prayer books up here. I don't know why I have two copies of this, but I love this book because it's very simple and easy, like things to go do throughout the day. Imitation of Mary is awesome. Imitation of Christ is fabulous. I feel like every Catholic home should have this, the Bible and the Catechism. But um, yeah, so these are just a couple different things, um, prayer books. Okay, and then down here are a bunch of my my books. My um, my sp a lot of them are spiritual. Some of them aren't, but um, for the most part, they're books that I really want to read um, or I have read, and they're like my favorites. Um, kids' books are over there. Like I said, we do a lot of reading on the couch behind me, and then a lot of my prayer cards are down here. We actually down here. So down here, we have Station of the Cross. So every Friday night as a family, we do Station of the Cross. And I just got these off of Amazon as well. Um, and then this is the one that I have it on Etsy, but um, I wrote Station of the Cross for children. So this is um, what we can do every day. And then um, under there, I just have a bunch of different like holy cards, scriptural meditations, Padre Pio, um, the Holy Rosary, 54 day rosary novena, just a bunch of like very <laughs> random prayers and holy cards. And you know, it's just like when I'm looking for something or if I don't know where to put it, I just put it in this box. And so, so that's what we do. But um, this holds all of the 
um, station of the cross for our Friday and down there are all my cookbooks I love cookbooks that's kind of my weakness um, and yeah so that's kind of the prayer room so up there all of my different Mary statues so I'm gonna talk a little bit about those Okay, so here are all my Marian statues. Um, I got these in hopes that when I do pass, that all of my children and maybe my grandchildren will have a statue of, of Mary. And so every time I would travel somewhere, I would get a different statue. And so, um, and my husband um, did it for me as well. Like this is Our Lady of Levang. And so this is actually Bella's. Mine is right there. I, have, I get the big one. And so this one is actually Bella's, but she, you know, I'm afraid she's gonna break it. So I just keep her with mine. Um, and so this is Vietnam. This is um, in China. I don't know, I mean Our Lady of China, I'm guessing, but got this in China. Um, this is from Lourdes. I would travel to Lourdes when I went to a World Youth Day um, in Germany. We went to Lourdes and St. Bernadette's one of my favorite saints. So this was really special to me. And then this is Fatima. I went to Fatima when I was discerning marriage actually with my ex-fiance. Long story, but beautiful statue and Mary definitely helped me through that hard time in my life. Um, this is the first apparition that I went to was Our Lady of Guadalupe. So I went to Mexico City with some friends and it was um, life changing for me. It was beautiful. I think I was 19, which sounds crazy now because it's not the safest place, but back then it was okay. Um, so, so that's Our Lady of Guadalupe. And then this, these two, I got when I was a little girl. And I have no idea the story behind them, but I remember loving them so, so much. So these are very old. And I'm guessing my mom got them from like a thrift store or garage sale. We were big garage sellers. And so I love that. I love, I used to pray the rosary all the time and get to look at these two. Um, this is Our Lady of Lujan, and so this is actually Argentina. Um, I went to visit my sister in Argentina, and we both got the same statue and stuff. So it was a big deal. I love the statue, it's really cool. Cool little story behind it, but I don't remember it. I'd have to look it up. But I remember all the other stories, ironically. Um, this is Our Lady of Akita. And so if you have heard about, so this is Japan. I mean, this this one is, the story is crazy. Like Mary appeared to this nun who is still alive and the apparitions have been approved and they're a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but my husband went there on a business trip and so he picked this up as well as the Our Lady of um, Levang. So those two. He got from me which is so sweet of him I kind of begged him and he, so he went um, but oh the statue at the actual apparition place used to cry blood um, and Mary did appear to a nun and stuff so definitely look that up Our Lady of Akita this was given to me by a group of women who I used to lead them in a Catholic book study and they just loved me and I just loved them and they got this for me on my last day because my husband moves a lot. So um, every time I see this statue, I think of them and our sweet moments and stuff. So anyway, so the goal is to give these to my my children and grandchildren when, when I die and hopefully they will hold on to them and um, that Mary will, will help them. Okay, so this is the other side of the prayer altar. Um, I love it because it's pretty small room, um, just small enough, not too big. Um, so I sit here and read to the kids all the time. I also read my Bible, um, have my Bible here with all my prayers and the book that I'm reading at the time. Right now I'm doing a retreat. Um, and so I have that. I love it so much. So that's great. I don't know if you can see it, but so out of my window, if I can zoom in, let's see if I can zoom in really. So I don't know if you can see it, but there is a huge statue of Mary back there. It's about Bella's size. 
and Bella will go over and give her hugs. I got it for my birthday, and I've always wanted a big statue like that, but we could never afford it. This one I got off of Amazon, and it was really cheap because it's plastic. You would never know it by looking at it because it looks gorgeous, but you just fill it with sand, and she just stays anchored. In fact, she doesn't have any sand in her right now, but she's awesome. So I love that looking out there, my little... Mary statue. So this is where I do all my prayers. I have all my Etsy stuff right in there. Um, so I like that. I got that from Ikea. And then this is where I do all of my editing and um, everything is my little office. I got this actually from um, just the side of the road. My husband found this. As you can see, it's not perfect, but hey, it works. It's clean. I like it. It's perfect for us. So this is, so that's the other side of the home altar okay so that's my prayer room i hope that you enjoyed and i hope that you guys will kind of have a little prayer room prayer area as well for you and your family and i hope that this video is inspiring to you so anyway thank you for joining me and until next time god bless bye